Hi there, I'm Margaret Hughes. I am Senior Lecturer in Journalism at the University of the West of Scotland, where I teach magazine journalism. And I'm also Chair of the Association for Journalism Education here in the UK. So we represent the universities which teach journalism. So, my favourite magazine. This was a fantastic question to be asked, especially in such difficult times when I know lots of people will be seeking solace, comfort, enjoyment, learning in magazines. So, magazines have been a part of my life since I was a child. This was the first magazine that was ever bought for me when I was probably about four or five. And it started a habit that continued through my life. I absolutely loved Twinkle. Unfortunately, I don't have any original copies left, but I do have a few images like this where she's looking particularly grand and bony in her Scottish outfit. But what's my favourite magazine at the moment? There are lots I could have chosen from. It's a wee bit like asking what's your favourite book um, and I don't think I could do that. But I have chosen a magazine that means a great deal to me um, and I think means a great deal to lots of people. It's also a magazine that fascinates me and interests me and I don't think anybody will be surprised that what I'm showing is The Big Issue. The big issue is, I'm sure it's quite an old issue, it's from earlier this year, but it's one of the ones I've kept because I don't keep them all. But this one on the Kinder Transport was of particular interest to me. The big issue for me is something that is packed with fantastic journalism. It has great stories. It has those features that, um, that make you feel part of that community of both the audience and the people who sell it. So I always love to read about the vendors. Um, I love the letters to my younger self. I think that that's a fantastic feature that never fails to make me smile. Um, I, I, I love the general, the opinion columns, um, just the real breadth of culture that it offers. But what I love most about the big issue is that it is a social phenomena, I think. It's an economic phenomena. We know it's in difficult times at the moment, but how fantastic has the response to its call been for uh, people to subscribe to it? And I'm really excited, actually, to receive that first issue. For me, the big issue is about raising awareness. I feel passionately about social justice and equality. It's something that I think sits and should sit at the heart of all good journalism. The role that journalism has in our society should never be understated. The fact that the big issue came along and highlighted what is one of the biggest issues in our society um, and did so in such a clever, intelligent and meaningful way, I think is to be applauded every single day. I think that the big issue is something that makes people pause and stop to think. When you buy it from the same vendor, I buy the big issue from the same vendor um, each time I buy it because I want the money to go to that particular woman in the south side of Glasgow. So that's incredibly important to me. So the big issue, I think, is about raising issues it's about making us think about our society. It's about making us think about the challenges in our society and the people on the edges of our society. And I think now more than ever, that's something that we need to do and that's something that responsible journalism needs to do. I'm really proud to be a reader of the big issue. I really love the big issue. Um, I look forward to it. I'm so excited about the first um, issue arriving through the door in the next few days, um, which I subscribe to like thousands of others and hopefully lots of people will do too. And I think that we need to um, acknowledge the hugely important role that the big issue plays in the landscape of journalism here in the UK. I think lots of people would probably choose the big issue as their favourite magazine. <laughs>